My table's full of junk again. We're going to do a haul. Got a couple boxes. One from Bricklink. One from Lego. Got an Amazon box, but that's not Lego. Before I do that, I want to do a Brigzar answer thingy question from Bricks for Chris. So we're going to use my high-tech screen recorder. Holding my phone in front of my computer. It's from Bricks for Chris. It says, Bad, I have a very large minifigure alarm clock collection. I believe I, all of them. If I go to Brickset, there's several missing. How do I go about having them added to the site. All right, there's a couple of ways. Uh, sometimes when you're scrolling through, if there's something that's in the inventory but doesn't have a picture, you can submit a picture. But we're going to go to this More tab. This is on the home page of Brickset. Oops. Hit More. All right. And then, let's see. It was... This was not it. Oh, this is how you do it. I click more, but not open it. And then I want to go to frequently asked questions. Or maybe another way to get to it. But this is how do I blah, 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 my collection. This is So if you got any kind of brick, brick set question, I hope I said brick set, not brick link. You can go there. But this is the part. Missing data. Submit a photo of a missing set from the database. Change the data in the database. Tell you that many things is minifig information for new sets is missing inform you about sets missing from Amazon listing so this is uh, if you go there and then you got the contact form and you can also look at sets that you own uh, to see ones that are missing pictures but what if this you know if the sets not even in the database just use the contact form and you can go from there but um, yeah, you, or you could uh, find somebody who's actually a moderator, <laughs> and I, I know one, but I'm not going to share his information right here because I don't know if he wants to get bombarded, but I'll share it with you, Chris, uh, privately. Uh, one of our fellow YouTubers actually um, does upload. He is an administrator that can upload. I'm not sure if that's the right word for it, but he can actually submit pictures to the database, and I've emailed him pictures, so... If you got a clock that's missing from the database, take some good pictures of the front and the back of it, and then I'll give you that information, or you can use this website. So after I do this, I'm going to do a Pablo. That's picking a BrickLink Lego order, and I need my cutters to open this box. So the basement is getting quite full again. <laughs> But this is something I ordered a long time ago, and it's just now being released. And by judging by the BrickLink packaging, you should know it's one of the AFOL program sets. So there's going to be a box within a box within a box. There we go. And now let's see if I can open this box without cutting the set that's on the inside. My, be my third BrickLink A file program set. And there it is. Of course, I had to get it because it's a roller coaster train, space train. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I got number 827. Apparently, a lot of people ordered this. All right, so this is the Skyline Express designed by Jazzle Kraz from Australia. <laughs> All right, so that's one I had to get. So I got three of them. We got the fire truck, this one, and the Lego History one by Brick Jonas. But I haven't built any of them yet. Uh, but got these in the early. Uh, one of the early adopters. You got free shipping. Uh, the ones that made it, you can still buy them, but you have to pay for the shipping, which will probably be a lot on a big set like that. Now let's do the shop at home order. It's a gigantic box. All right, so I did this before I knew all the problems with the VIP program, I guess. Let's see what I got in here. All right, we got the Lego Life magazine. Which issue is this? I don't know. That was free. I'm kind of like that they got print magazines still. Because I just ruined it with the shipping label. Just tore it, so wonderful. Uh, there's a return label. <laughs> we got one of these this was on sale we got one of these 
it was on sale the same set and we got one of these it was on sale oh look at this the shipping label tore the box <laughs> and then this was the free set so that was my order just to get the free set and the three items and all that so can't see it all so oh yeah actually not a bad deal don't not gonna worry about the box being torn there all right so that's the haul let's get over to the um, Pablo so Eric the eye says I think that if you got yourself a little wheelie cart or a rolling table you could just prop your laptop on it and grab all the pieces as you walk around that is so true and I actually do have one oh this is a mess I was gonna it's inside this closet but all this stuff fell down uh, it's in there. It's got a bunch of stuff stacked on it. It's my closet. I, this place is a mess. Oh, I forgot. I forgot about the block pod. Let me go see if I can find it. I think I remember hiding it back here. Yeah, there it is. It's under all this mess. Oh, whoops. So the block pod, this was uh, something sent to me by the block pod company uh, for testing it out. It's supposed to be a way of sorting Lego for like uh, soccer moms and stuff. But I haven't used it since those days. I thought about using it as a storage bin. I gotta clean this thing out. It's got dust and stuff in there. It's been sitting over there so long. So I did find a box I think this will fit in. Let me try it. Look at that, it fits in the box. All I gotta do is put some bubble wrap around it to protect it. So, all right, there you go, Eric. I'll be uh, messaging you uh, later about this. So, we got a Pablo for Leo Danny Suarez. It's 15 lots, 175 pieces. So, we'll just do the lots. I should really go get that cart. Decided to do this. Almost to it. It's in there. Hasn't seen the light of day in forever. Oh man, <laughs> I, it won't fit. I gotta, I gotta take everything off of it so I can lift it over this or remove that stuff. All right, the cart is out, and I even bigger mess now. I'm gonna clean this thing off. It's been under the stairs. It's got a lot of dust and a mystery box right there. All right, let's see what's in the mystery box. Probably not gonna be anything. Oh yeah, it's pictures. <laughs> <laughs> that's not is that me is that me I think that's me that is me wow this is my 10 year service anniversary from AT&T that was 2009 that's my degree that's my award there's another award hey look I used to work at Six Flags that's my 10 year service anniversary I got a 10 year service anniversary for Six Flags and for AT&T <laughs> and that was my 5 year 10 year award at Six Flags some kind of Bell South thing and I got an AT&T one there all right, so I'm ready to go. I got, wait a minute. Okay. I got, <laughs> I got my, my tray, my computer, which I could probably use my iPad or something. I just put the computer there for now. And it can fit in the aisles. So let's go pick some BrickLink order stuff. So Leo, Danny, Suarez, you get the privilege of being the first one <laughs> to get an order picked from the cart. Drawer 400. He's got these dark blue legs. Put that there. We got drawer 849, 840, oh, this is so much easier. <laughs> 849, we got two of these. This is a special day. <laughs> drawer 1020. And the great thing about having the tray, the I mean this, is like when I get something like this where there's an empty drawer, of course, if I'm close enough to the table, all I got to do is throw it over there on the table, an empty drawer, or I could have room on here to hold it. 
The next drawer is 1,083, right there, which he wanted three of these little curved pieces. All right. And then we got drawer 1706. Let's see if we can navigate this turn. Oh, yeah. 1706 is over here somewhere. Oh, yeah, the right, white one-by-ones. He needs three of those. One, two, three. 1877. Get some of these. So we got six of those, and then we're going to go to 3392. So I don't get to go all the way down the store. We're just going to go right over here. 3392. He's got a couple of goblets right there. Now we got to go to the other side. I think I'll back into this aisle. Oops, I hit the... Oh, i got to learn how to navigate there. I ran into those containers. 3595. He, he got all of these, so i got to double check, make sure there's 20 in there. So there were indeed 20. The next drawer, so we can get past this garbage can. Yep, it works. 3819. Just need one of these little mini Joker pants. I'll put it with those other ones. Then drawer 3870. 3870. I gotta count out a whole bunch of these. Alright, so I was counting out the 21 of these he needed, and I found one of these mixed in with it. That actually happens quite a bit when we're sorting. Uh, a same color piece might get accidentally get mixed in with some other pieces. Uh, so we'll go put that where it belongs. Back. Next one is A17, which is these. i got to count out 20 of these tiles. And then M10. Boy, this is, this is so convenient, the way this has worked out. Got to count out, oh, 40 of these. All right, then we got drawer, our box M29. It's going to be over here. Box Jenga. Hold on a minute, this one's... Uh. All right, he got some of these. I got to count out 12 of those. Then we got box P20. P20, where is it? Right there. Uh. 35, which is this part, 10, I mean, uh, yeah, logs. All right, one more drawer, A, gray, A2, Let's navigate all this mess here, it's working, gray A2 is right here, and he needs eight of those. We found my baby picture. We found the block pod. So thank you, Eric the Oz. Thank you, Leo Danny Suarez. Thank you, Bricks for Quick. <laughs> Bricks for Quiz. Bricks for Chris for the Bricks Our Answers thing. You sure? Be sure to check out his video where he got the Lego Toy Story Alien clock, which is, I'm sure, by far the most rare Lego clock. And he should have a complete collection. Uh, he did show what he had back at uh, Philly Brick Fest a couple years ago. Uh, but anyway, I don't know why I'm showing my BrickLink store now. There is... The, oh, man, now... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I'll just leave that in there. There is the cart! All right, I'm so happy about that. So it actually worked. We'll see if my wife likes it. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one. I was just happy they were about to land on the moon.